Chapter 4, Lesson 1 of Precalculus, and I wanted to pick up where we left off last time talking about uh, the degree radian conversion. And we talked about this conversion, um, this unit multiplier that we use to convert from radians to degree or from degree to radians. And it's the same unit multiplier. The only thing we do is we uh, use its inverse depending upon which units we want to reduce out and which ones we're trying to get to. Meaning if we begin with degrees, we want the degree unit to reduce, so the 180 degree goes in the denominator because this is in the numerator, so those units reduce out, and now we're left with just a unit of radians in the numerator. And then we can reduce the values, this being both uh, divisible by 90, and then I multiply through and I get up, or I end up with pi over 2 radians. And if I begin with radians, I just simply flip that unit multiplier over so the radians reduce, and then I reduce everything else that I can. So the pi reduces with pi, and then the 3 goes into 180 60 times, so I end up with 60 degrees. So we use the same unit multiplier, we just need to set it up so that the units that we don't want uh, reduce out. Now, that's a algebraic way to do it, and a way that you need to be able to do it with any measure of angle, but when we're working with trigonometry we want to get better and quicker at this and there's a few things that you're going to want to remember and if you do then the trigonometry is going to be able to be done more quickly and obviously the more you use it the better you get at it so you want to practice these when you can we're going to need to do these conversions quickly in our head so one thing you want to think of is remember that pi radians is 180 degrees and you want to be able to as soon as you see pi is to think 180 degrees you want to start making that connection and again you will only do that as you practice uh, doing it uh, in your homework or whatever the other ones that are going to be very important are 30 60 90 and 45 degree angles I didn't I didn't put that in here and what do those look like these are so common because those are those special triangles that we'll talk about you remember from geometry our 30 60 90s and our 45 45 90s so those types of angles get used quite a bit so being able to recognize what they are quickly is going to make your trigonometry much more efficient and much quicker and able to do it so I want to give you really quickly a little tip on how I remember these different angles seeing how they're so important so important and then maybe they'll help you so let me give you those tips okay radian measures need to know if you have pi over 2 actually if you have any denominator of 2 in other words if you're looking at 3 pi over 2 let me write some of these out so you kind of see it. 3 pi over 2, or 7 pi over 2, or 13 pi over 2. It doesn't matter what the numerator is. If the denominator is a 2, then you're going to be on what we call a quadrantal angle, meaning the angle is going to be formed by two axes. So they're going to be actually multiples of 90 degrees. So this would be a pi over 2. Pi over 2 simplifies to 90 degrees if you were to convert it. So anytime you see a denominator of 2, it's always going to be some 90 degree angle, or the sides of the angle are going to be what we call quadrantal, and um, hopefully you'll see what that are, or what that is later on, and um, you'll see the connection. Another thing that I do, when I see a denominator of 3, I always know that it's a 60 degree angle of some sort. And again, the multiples don't matter. If I have pi, 5 pi over 3, I know it's a 60 degree angle, or a multiple of 60 degree angles. I want to talk about what they are in the next chapter. Um, but you just need to know that if you have a denominator of 3, the angle measure that you're talking about is going to be a multiple of 60. If you have a multiple or a denominator of 4, then you're always going to have a multiple of 45 degree angles. And a, and a denominator of 6 is always going to be a 30 degree angle or a multiple thereof. So 2 always ends up being a quadrantal. 4 and the 45, they always go together. 3 and the 6, it's kind of the opposite of what you would think, 3, 60, and then a 6 is a 30. Now, whatever you come up with to remember those, that's up to you. Uh, but these are going to be very important angles to be able to get very quickly 
uh, as we work through trigonometry. So you want to do as much work as you can with these so that they become easier for you to do.